All right, now let's prove Euler's formula. And it's an induction. It's an induction. We fix the value n, the number of vertices. And then for this value of n, we then proceed by induction on the number q of edges. So we're going to prove it for all q greater or equal to 0. If q equals 0, the base case, what is a graph on n vertices with no edges? What is a graph on n vertices with no edges? I like your very descriptive frame. It's just a bunch of loose points. That's all it is. All right. How many faces do you have? One, and what face is that? The exterior face. So look at the formula. It would say n minus 0 plus 1 is equal to t plus 1. But how many components do you have when you have n loose vertices? You have each vertex being a component all by itself. And so the formula is obviously true when there are no edges. Agreed? All right. So now we're going to do the inductive step. We're going to assume that Euler's formula holds for this fixed value of n for some value of q, where q is k, where k is greater than or equal to 0. Then we're going to assume we have a drawing of a plain graph with n vertices and k plus 1 edges. And we want to show that the formula works. So we split into two cases. In case one, there is an edge, which is a bridge. So I have a plain graph. Now, find a bridge. There's bunches of them, but find one. I'll take this one. Now, remove that bridge. And when you do, the number of vertices stays the same. The number of edges goes down by one. And what happens to the number of faces? I, somebody over here said it goes down by one. Somebody here said it stays the same. But it stays the same. Now, why is that? Why is that? A bridge is on the exterior face on both sides. And when you remove it, the exterior face just expands. All right. So... If we let n prime, q prime, and t prime be the number of vertices, edges, and faces when we take the edge E away. So here's my edge E. I want to write those values in terms of the old ones. So n prime it's just n. It didn't change. What is q prime? It's the old q minus 1. What is t prime? t prime is the same as t. And remember, we were saying that q is k plus 1. So q minus 1 is k. So in the reduced graph, which has fewer edges, Euler's formula holds. So we know 
n prime minus q prime plus f prime equals t prime plus 1. And I didn't write f prime. I should have. What's the value of f prime compared to f? It's the same. All right. So now we know this formula works. But T prime and T, is that correct? Is T prime the same as T? What is the definition of a bridge? A bridge is an edge so that when you remove it, the number of components goes up by one. It's got the two, it's got the exterior face on both sides. That part of our thinking was just fine. But a bridge is a bridge. It's connecting the two islands. And it really becomes an island when you take away the. So the T prime is T plus 1. Not, not T. All right, so now substitute in. N prime is N. Take away your Q prime. That's K. Add your F prime. Your F prime is the same as your F. And you get your modified T prime, which is T plus 1, plus 1. All right? And now, what does that say? N minus K minus... The engineer is going to yell at me. N minus K plus 1 plus F equals T plus 1, and that's what we needed. So I just took the formula above it and subtracted 1 from both sides. So the point is, the inductive step is done if there is a bridge. All right, so now we have to consider case 2, that there is no bridge. 